Hi everyone, welcome, John here. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at another way of scraping data from the web. Uh, in previous videos, we've looked at getting the HTML, passing that. We've also looked at rendering the page in different formats and different ways. But what we're gonna to do today is we're going to try and go directly to the API source at the endpoint and get the information from there. So a lot of modern websites work by um, sending the website will, when it loads will send off a request to the API for the information and then it will pick that up and then render it on the page for you to see. So what we're going to be doing is going to the endpoint which is kind of basically the end of the sort of communication channel from the from the API. So the API will take the request from the website and then it will send the data that it's requested back to it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get in the middle of that and we're going to actually send our own request off to that API to get that information back. So I've got an example up here, and this is the FIH Pro League Hockey. Um, and we can see here that we've got a lot of fixtures. Some have scores and some don't. You can see that unfortunately some have been canceled. Um, but what we're gonna do, if we go to the inspect element and then go to the network tab and click on XHR, which is where most of these requests will be, and then reload the page, we should be able to find out uh, where this information is coming from and how we can replicate that request uh, programmatically to get that data. So if we look through all of this, we can see that there is some type and it's JSON data, which is very good, it's very useful for us. Um, and if I see here, there is one that is a post request and it's get match stats list, statistics list. And we can see under the response part of the network tab, that we actually have all this information here. So if I scroll back to the top, we see the first game is China Netherlands and it was 0 3. Um, we can see here current team score 0 versus team score 3, and the teams were China and the Netherlands. So this is exactly what we were hoping to find. This is, this is where the website has sent the request off to the server, and the server has used the API to send it back to the website and JSON data. Now we really can work with this and we can get this information back ourselves programmatically. So to do that, we need to use an external program. I use Insomnia on Linux, but um, you can use Postman on Windows. That works really well as well. So what we want to do is we want to find the request here that we just, we just used to find this data. Right click and then copy as curl, C-U-R-L. Then go off to Postman or Insomnia or whichever API program you want to use create a new request. Um, I think this was a post request, but I don't think this really matters. Let's click create. And up here, I'm gonna paste the data in, and then I'm gonna hit send. And then hopefully we'll get exactly what we just saw in our inspect element back in our API program. So if you're using Postman, you just need to go import and then paste the raw data into, I think it's called, yeah, I think it's called uh, import raw data and paste that in what we copied from the website. We can see right away here that we have exactly the same JSON data. We've managed to get a request back. If we look under the headers that we sent, there's not too many ones that are interesting here, but depending on what you're doing, you might find that there are more uh, interesting headers that you could manipulate or change and then send the request off again. So maybe it's got a a number of uh, return results. Maybe you could change that to a higher number to get more data back or something similar like that. This one doesn't seem to, it just seems to send all of the information back to us. So what we can do is we can go ahead and we can click on generate code. I'm not entirely sure what this is in Postman, but it's very similar. So we're just gonna copy this. I'm gonna go off to our uh, text editor, Sublime. We're gonna paste that in and we're gonna save it. And we can see here that it's copied the payload, the headers, the URL, everything for us. So if we go and ahead and run that, hopefully we get back the JSON data. There we go. That's it right there. All of that information should be all the scores. There we go. We can see um, the first one here. So you could then take this information here and you could store it in a variable, pull out exactly what you wanted or whatever you wanted to do it for. You could create your own data set by putting it into a database like we talked about in a different video. But basically with this one, I wanted to show you another way where you could go directly to 
the API endpoint and get the data back that you're interested in getting from a website. It's definitely worth exploring these different methods if you're trying to scrape data. Um, depending on the website and how it works, you'll have some success with others, maybe more than this, but this is definitely worth uh, knowing how to do. You saw how simple that was for me to find that and then go ahead and get all of that information off. So hopefully you guys have found this useful. It's been another quick video. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested and you want to see more of this sort of thing. Drop me a like or a comment if you if you want to find out more. Great. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Bye.